Hey, good people. Welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. These BYOP videos are some of my most favorite videos to film, and I do hope that you're going to enjoy this month's palette. Today we are going to create or I'm going to show you my rainy day palette. So if you want to see the palette and a look with it, definitely keep watching this video and let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you're just trying to figure out the best way to get the most use out of your collection, definitely consider joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, so yesterday I felt it. I was filming something and I was like, <clears throat> you know, all that. And then like throughout the workday yesterday, I just felt this little cold coming on. So my voice is a little, you know, crackly, a little raspy, but you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna do the damn thing with this video. So this is my monthly collab series with my friend Kelly over at Keep Beauty Real. We came up with this idea because we love eyeshadow singles and have a lot of them, but <laughs> we do more swatching than wearing them. I, Kelly does better at wearing her singles than I do. That is a fact. But, you know, we thought just coming up with a theme each month would be a great way to showcase our singles and put them in use. And um, I have really enjoyed this. We started this, I want to say, in August of 21. And uh, it, it, it has just been really fun. We've had some other content creators joining along the way. We have Kendra from Kendra Morgan Official. I'll link her video, but she's like the queen of eyeshadow singles. Our friend Lock Maiden on Instagram has been creating palettes and we just have a bunch of content creators joining in. Mary Moods and Makeup has done one. And there's some other people, if I'm forgetting you, I'm sorry, but I, Truly enjoy seeing your palettes and I cannot wait to see this one because I feel like a rainy day palette is open for a lot of interpretation. Sometimes when it's rainy and dreary, that really does impact our moods, you know, but I've conditioned myself to think that rainy days are not bad. Rainy days are great. We need rain. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm so corny right now, but we really do need rain and it's so important for just everything now now we'll say this rainy days do make me move a little slower but i don't feel down or anything like that when days are like that you gotta bring your own shine and shit to the mix you know what i'm saying you gotta do something like a rainy day because i think it's supposed to be real nice today but it's gonna rain I'll be like, you know what? I don't feel like doing xyz but you know you try to have something to look forward to like maybe i order a crab cake I know, I know, I know. Don't even ask where they came from, but like, that's what I'm thinking at this time. Or like, I'm not feeling well, and I'm gonna have to push myself through this day with these children or the corn at work and at home. But I'd be like, you know, maybe I'll order me a crab cake. You know what I'm saying? That's how I work. So when I thought about this palette, <laughs> I wanted something gloomy because I don't know if you could tell, but my favorite color is gray. A lot of times gray paired with something else like gray and rose gold that's my combo right there gray and yellow uh so i love gray and i wanted a palette that was gloomy but i also wanted to challenge myself because y'all know i don't care too much for blue eyeshadow but there are blues that i really do enjoy so i wanted to showcase those and then i wanted to have a little sparkle and shine because you know after the rain is over you know that's like it helps new life, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. That's what we're doing. That's the palette. Let me show it to you. I am so happy about this one, y'all. All right, now let's see, cause y'all know I'm trying to get my colors right, my lighting right. I love this cause I feel like I don't have that yellow tint. And it was all about, let me, I'll, I'll tell you another time. But anyway, look at this palette, you guys. This is my rainy day palette. I'm into it. <sighs> let me just tell you so the rules for the collab are 10 shades it, it can be a challenge you know what I mean uh, and I'm gonna get back to this in a second but I, I do want to explain it can be a challenge to come up with 10 shades but that's the deal 10 shades and anybody can join in you don't have to have a channel you could just be on Instagram you could be on nothing you know what I'm saying you don't even here's my thing 
You don't even have to have eyeshadow singles. All you have to do is take out your palettes, find 10 shades that you want, write them down, swatch them, then you got a palette. You know what I'm saying? Because some people have said, I really want to do this, but I don't really have singles. You don't need singles. This is just for me to use the singles that I haven't been using. And then I had the nerve to buy some Terra Moons. Oh, I had to though, I had to, because they were not going to be duplicates. All right, let's get back to what we're doing here. All right, so here is the palette, trying to avoid that ring light glare oh there we go Ooh, there we go there's the palette and when you look at it you can see that it's got a blue kind of tone to it it's a little gloomy there's some shimmers here i can't wait to show you up close because this is not going to do it for us here this is not giving us the the true vision but i wanted to challenge myself and i wanted to have something in it that makes me happy and shimmery shades these indie shadows they make me very happy and i've got like my little gray there and everything so i'm gonna try to uh, explain the rationale of this palette this is one i did not create at the last minute for once and i'm gonna try to explain how I came up with this this story so I think I may have based this one so I'm gonna I'm gonna start with this one because I think this is where the 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 whole palette stem from I it's hard for me to remember this is the shade purple sky by Sydney Grace I knew right away I wanted to have this shade in my palette now, I'm hoping that this is clear because it looks clear to me but it's just hard to really see the beauty of this shade. It's got some purple in it, some gray in it, and there are a lot of little sparkly reflex that I'm hoping you'll be able to see with the swatches. Look at that, look at that. That is a beauty. I mean, if that doesn't scream rainy day, what does? Okay, and there's Purple Sky. I love this shade. It's got the sparkles in there, but it's got the smoothness as well, and I just, thought about this like one of those like really cloudy days like where it's about to storm like for real I, I love purple sky so with me using that shade I knew I was gonna want a navy blue matte I have a couple but I went with the shade complicated now this is by Looksy Beauty I was thinking about either this shade or the shade it's a boy by Sydney Grace if you're familiar but I went ahead with complicated it's a boy is a little bit deeper and i just felt like this was such a what word am i looking for pure potent i don't know but that's what this blue the vibe of this blue gave me and so i wanted to make sure that i had this one in my palette as well like this is just so blue now the two of these together are going to make an awesome team i already know and i, I love that i swatched them next to each other because you can just see just that's that's a combo right there so next i included another blue from looksy beauty and i don't think i've used this one yet this is the shade atlantis now atlantis is a blue shimmer i don't think this is a duochrome did i even zoom in on complicated let me let me do that so there's complicated and here is atlantis i wanted to use this one because it's new and I mean, it's, it's not new technically, but I haven't used it before. Looksy Beauty really has some nice shadows and I, I really feel like they upped their shadow game. I don't know when, but at some point between my first purchase with them and then the second one, they did, they've done something different in my mind. So there's the shade Atlantis. It is just a very beautiful blue. I'm not sure what shade of blue this is, but it's, it's beautiful and the, these are my blues you guys more of the gray toned type of blues so next i wanted to include one of my glam shops and well next i don't want to say i wanted i didn't go for a glam shop but this just happens to be a glam shop shadow this is the shade zorza and this is a turbo glow shade and there it is this is hard to see you can see a little purple there we'll see what it looks like in the swatch Ooh, there's some green reflex in here as well. These are so good. There it is. Hopefully, let me put it on a different finger because I don't want to ruin the base of it. Okay, this is better. Can you see that? So Zorza is going to make a beautiful topper shade. This is a shade you can wear by itself, but I can imagine myself putting it over top of any of these actually be beautiful paired with any of these shimmers here you could put it over the mat 
I think that's going to be like a really nice mix. Mm. The next shade in the palette is one of my favorite Cleona stained glass shadows. And this is not going with the blue theme, but this is going with the theme of when it's raining or when it's dreary or when my motivation is low or slow, having something to look forward to. And so having this in the palette, one of my favorite shades, that's like my something to look forward to, that sparkly shimmer. This is the shade Bloodline, if I didn't say it already. And there it is. You can see it's got a rose gold tone. And wait till you see the swatch, it's gorgeous. And when I flip it, I mean, I can see so many colors, just like Zorza. They're like these like light green, kind of blue, purpley reflex in it. This is one of my favorite stained glass shadows. And there's Bloodline. So this is what we have so far, and this is actually my first time swatching this. And I have to say, I, I really love what this is looking like together. The next shade that I wanted to include, I wanted another matte, but I didn't want a gray gray, even though I love gray. This is Concrete Road by Sydney Grace. And this is, hmm, I would say a gray taupe, a group. We do that, we call it that. <laughs> So there's Concrete Road, and you can see that it is gray, but it's not like all the way gray. It's a light gray, maybe. This is a really, really great shade. See, like I'm already forgetting that I'm sick. Well, we're not even gonna use that word. We're not even gonna use under the weather. I'm already forgetting that I wasn't feeling my normal, my normal vibe. You know why? Because I'm looking at this daggone eyeshadow. And there we have Concrete Road. So this is gonna be a great transition shade for this look and you know even if you don't want it to be deep you can even put it on the outer corner and use you know one of these shimmers with it i think it's going to be gorgeous especially like these two together beautiful the next matte that i included is the shade violicious this is by Luxie beauty you're probably like where is this coming into the mix ah uh, i i didn't have any rhyme or reason for this shade i actually was thinking i didn't want it to just be one uh what do we call it color story or one vibe so i wanted something that i thought was going to complement the blues and i thought this would and i think it will also complement this bloodline shade i just wanted another matte because you know i just wanted to have variety it's all about the variety you know what i mean like i want to be able to go more than one way with this palette so there it is again these mattes by looksy beauty they're like $3 and they go down to $2.50 when they're on sale. And I just think the quality is so good. I don't know why more people are not talking about their mattes. And they have a lot of vibrant shades that you can't find in Sydney Grace. Like I love my Sydney Grace mattes, but like if I want like a vibrant purple or a vibrant yellow or a vibrant orange, I don't see those in the matte formula from Sydney Grace, but I can always find it in the Luxie shades. And they're cheaper. So there's Violicious or Violicious. This is great. This is great. I'm proud. I'm proud of this. So another shade I wanted to include in the palette is a, a shade by Cleona. It's one of my neutral shades. And is this from the Metallic Metals or something collection? I can't remember. But this is the shade Firewood. I have not brought this one out in a long time. But this is just kind of like our earthy tone. You know, when you think about rain nature, all of that stuff. I wanted to have a little earthy tone in there. And that's how I ended up pulling out the shade Firewood. Now this is from their Circle, you know, collection. You know, it's not all about the stained glass with Cleona. Don't sleep on these. I've said it a zillion times. And they are super affordable. This is just a really great shade. I don't think I zoomed in. So there we have Firewood. And we have Violicious or Violicious, in case I didn't zoom in on that. All right, there's Firewood. And that was just one swipe, y'all, one swipe of that. And look how opaque it is. It's beautiful. I think like firewood will go so nicely with this mat here. Mm. I don't, um, uh, getting into the look, I don't, <laughs> I don't have any clue what I want to do. I better figure it out though. All right, so next we have the shade Starboy, which is, this must be the Luxy Beauty video. <laughs> this is by Luxy. it's the shade Starboy. All right, there it is. Starboy is going to be great for an inner corner highlight, maybe a brow bone, maybe just all on the lid. It's, it's gonna be a great shade for any of that. I just 
thought it would be nice. I wanted to make sure I had an inner corner highlight shade. Come on, light. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to go with this one. I don't think I've used this one as well. So yeah, look at that. Again, you can see this is a bit of a topper shade, kind of similar to the Zorza shade, but this one I think has a little more gold in it, maybe. They're, they are very, very similar, but they're staying, you guys. They are staying in this palette. And the very last shade, when I looked at it, I, I didn't even know what brand it was, but I was like, I definitely want this because it's kind of a blue, gray, but I also see some gold in it. This is actually the shade Bermuda and it's by, um, not Cleona, it's by Copacetic Cosmetics. Haven't pulled these out in a while either, so I, I'm so glad to be, you know, really going through the, the singles that I have. And that's the shade Bermuda. And you can kind of see that hint of gold, I think, there in the shade. And you see it's blue there. Okay, there's Bermuda at the end. And yeah, it's like a, blue gray gold i mm, trying to think of a shade that may be similar maybe callisto by terra moons i'll have to compare that because i know the callisto shade have been discontinued I, know what the cups are. I gave you a cup of juice I drunk it all. so why do you need a new cup I'm, I'm still so you can't use the same cup <sighs> he gonna say something oh yeah yeah august no he's on the the list he's on my list right now anyway you guys here is my rainy day palette seeing it now for the first time swatched out oh i love this even more yes i would i would buy this let me know what y'all think this is gorgeous yes <gasps> okay i i'm happy with this i don't think i think the only thing that i would change maybe is maybe either zorza or Starboy to maybe more of an opaque white shimmer, but mm -mm, I'm gonna leave it like this. This is cute, cute. All right, so here's the deal. I gotta take some pictures of this, take Margie to the bus stop, then we'll come back and do the look. But that is gonna happen for you right now, so let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I am back, and we're gonna get into this look. I just got everybody together august has pictures today i'll pop up a little picture of his little outfit he august been doing the most but everything's all good i did put on some blush because i decided i was gonna go ahead and wear this let me see which one it is it is the wayne goss sweet wildflower palette blush i just think this is like a very generic blush that can go with any look that i wear so that way i didn't have to be figuring that out at the last moment also on my face, I have, what am I wearing? The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I have on the Dior Forever Skin Concealer. And I have my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand, Contour Wand in medium deep. That's it, an hourglass ambient powder to set. There's the blush. All right, now what we all are here for, which is this palette. Ah, which way do we go? I. I'm not sure. Yes, I am. So the first shade that I would like to enjoy is the shade Concrete Road by Cindy Grace. And I'm gonna enjoy that on a What's Up Beauty R104 brush. And this little palette here came from Amazon. I love that it has a mirror. Not a great one, but a mirror nonetheless. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this in and tap my brush off because it's a bit powdery. So we're just gonna do that. Make sure we're not doing too much. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap this in. I do have on my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Eden, as per usual. This has been working out very nicely with all of my eyeshadow looks, and I feel like they last, they last very nice. This primer potion has a bit more of a dry down than my usual Glam Light Icing Primer, which is kind of why I like it. I mean, look, okay, I'm done with that eye for the most part. That just went on perfectly that's what i'm telling y'all sydney grace do not sleep do not sleep on sydney all right i think that made a great transition shade so we're going to move on i, I still want to use something fluffy for the next shade but i'm going to go into vialicious by Luxy. i'm going to use a bk beauty 202 brush and that's going to be my crease color just trying to get it only on like a little part of the brush and go right in 
to the crease area. I think this shade blends really nicely with Concrete Road and you can see that you know we're creating a little gradient. It's blending really, really well. I think I'm just going to stop there. And one thing I love about these particular BK Beauty brushes and, or any brush like this, the What's Up br Beauty brushes are the same. I love that tapered point that it comes to and I feel like that really helps put the shadow where I want it to be. and. You know, I don't have to worry about it, especially like with the hooded eyes, you know what I mean? So that's kind of the vibe I'm going for. You see, it's like just real cloudy, you know? It is actually supposed to rain today, but the weather's gonna be great. I don't know if I said that. All right, let's get into some shimmers and then we'll come back and, you know, do some outer corner with this navy blue and we're gonna just get into it. I would like to use, we're gonna start with Bloodline. So that's the Cleona shade right here. Now today I am going to use that on a brush because I do want to get it right up in here. So I have my setting spray by Char and I'm going to go ahead and dip into Bloodline and then spray it. That way we don't get, I mean I don't have any issues with hard pan but I know that's how you get hard pan. So trying not to have that happen. And we're just gonna start by placing it here in the first third of the lid, going back in for a little more. I'm wondering if Kelly has this shade because this reminds me of her. Anything rose gold kind of reminds me of Kelly. So I'm wondering, Kelly, do you have bloodline because this is a good one taking it up into the crease I just want you to be able to see it and if it goes up too high I'm gonna come back and blend that out at the end anyway so it'll be all good all right I think that's a great start so next I'm gonna take the same brush and I'm gonna go into Atlantis and I'm gonna do the same thing dip my brush in ooh a lot came up ooh. and spray and I am covering up Bloodline just a little bit because it's gonna be like a little merger. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit because I don't want it to be harsh. So I might come back with some more Bloodline in the end. We'll see. This shade, look how, I mean, this is gorgeous. This, look, see, I don't know. I think they just need to really do a better job of advertising because this is just great quality for three bucks, I'm telling you. All right, and I know it's not blended out just yet, and that's okay. Next thing we're gonna do is go into Purple Sky. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but this brush, this is a brush by Glam Light from one of their foodie boxes, and I always say these aren't available, but I did see it on their website. It was uh, a set of three brushes, and they were nine bucks. So if you like those, they're, they're really nice, but only if there's a sale, like, you know what I mean? Because shipping, you know. Dipping into Purple Sky, and spraying it. I'm gonna put that kind of sort of over Atlantis. This is gonna start to give us the, the deep part of the look and I'm gonna finish it by using the shade Complicated, which is the blue matte. So you can see there, it kind of just, you can see Atlantis, but you can also see Purple Sky there. So it's just not as bright. Does that make sense? Can y'all see that? I don't like these bright blues. All right, so that looks good. And then what I'm gonna do, let me switch brushes for a hot second. I am gonna take this brush by Lavish. This is an eye shading brush. I'm gonna take this eye shading brush by Lavish, which is not clean. And I'm actually gonna go just a little bit into the shade Firewood, which is here. I am going to slightly just put it here. Can y'all see it? You might not be able to see it. So you can still see that rose gold right there, but it was just a little bit of harshness to me that was going into Atlantis. And you know what, all in all, I may be covering up everything I've done. 
but I like the way it looks. So we just going to go ahead with it. All right. Mm. Okay. So now I'm looking for a fluffy brush, but a brush that's not as big as that What's Up Beauty one. I, this is the one I want right here. So this is a BK Beauty A502 brush. And I'm gonna use this to apply Complicated. Complicated is the navy blue matte right here. And I'm just gonna apply that, tap it off my brush, and I'm just gonna tap it in here. I still wanna be able to see purple sky. I still wanna be able to see uh, Veilicious, Violicious, whatever that shade is called. But I do want to have the smoke. And that's what I'm trying to achieve here. And I'm just gonna tap it because I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna blend it with my original brush. So I'm just tapping it to place it and concentrate it. And then I'm gonna use the big fluffy brush to go ahead and get that out. And swipe through the crease just to bring it all together here. Okay, going back into my What's Up Beauty brush. This one is a natural hair brush. It is very soft and I find it really nice for the diffusement. I love this. Look at, come. this rainy day look better come on. Did it just start raining? It is gonna rain today though. All right, let me move on. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. So now we need the inner corner. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's see. Inner corner highlight. We're gonna go with Zorza. I'm on a roll. I'm gonna spray it using a, what is this? BH Cosmetics pencil brush. Let's tap it up, bring it up. Hmm. Look at that little highlight, that little shimmer. See, it's like rainy, but at the same time, it's like it makes you feel good. I said it was an inner corner highlight, but I lied. Let's just do that. I'm enjoying that. Yep, I enjoy. All right, we're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna go into, let me find out, I might use all 10 shades. Going into Bermuda right here, and I'm also gonna spray this for part of my lower lash line. 756, okay. Mm-hmm. And to seal the deal, going back into complicated and finishing off the lower lash line, mixing it in with Bermuda, cause that's okay. That's it, this is the look. And I'm gonna find a way to use Starboy because we not gonna leave Starboy out. Like that's not, that's not cool. I could see if I didn't use like three or four shades, but we not gonna leave that one baby out. We not gonna do that. That's just, it's just not practical for me. Oh yes, oh, this is too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and take Starboy here and let's see what we can do with him. We're gonna sweep him up here. Give us a little glitz and glamour up here on the brow bone. Oh, I wait. Yes. Mm. Oh, okay, KK, look at this. Look at the, come on. I haven't been really doing brow bone, like arch highlights, but we gonna do it today. Yes, we are. We weren't gonna leave him out. Oh, no, we won't. That's it, I'm done. I am done. The look has spoken and I'm here for it. I don't know why I'm using this brush, a scratchy brush. This is the rainy day look, y'all, all 10 shades. Mmm, mmm. All right, as per usual, gonna go finish this off. I'll be back to close out the video. All right, y'all, I am back with the final look. I love it. You know it came to my mind when I taught at one of my schools in the city, when we were trying to get everybody quiet, we used to have these like morning assemblies every single morning, the whole school would meet for like announcements and stuff like that. <laughs> and somebody would always be up on stage with a mic talking about 
don't talk to me. And the kids will be like, don't talk to me. It's quiet time. It's quiet time. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. It's quiet time. It's quiet time. That's what I feel like with this. Like, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. It's quiet time. So I'm going to be quiet. I don't, come on. Please respect my privacy at this time. I can't. This is my blue look, okay? This is what I can do with blue. That other stuff, I can't do it. But this right here, this right here, so let, me, let me calm down. I'm like on 10. I forgot I'm not feeling well. It's fine. That's, that's the whole point. That is the whole point of a rainy day palette for me. Like, it just started raining too. So this is all very appropriate, very relevant. I love it, I love it, have nothing, I, I use every shade, I, it's, what else can I say? I'm, I'm speechless, I'm stuttering. All right, to finish off the look, we have got the Charlotte Tilbury, which one is this? This is the Super Blue Metallic and Super Blue Matte. I love these double ended liners, I got one more left to get and I'm getting it tomorrow or tonight at midnight, whenever I decide to shop. And there it is, I used the matte side. So it's like navy. Yeah, see, it's just a navy matte. Not just, it's not just anything, but I love it. And then for the mascara, I have on the Makeup Revolution 5D Lash Pal Mascara. This is going strong. I love this mascara and it's very cheap. For my blush, I told you I have on the Wayne Goss Sweet Mm, let me not get the line. Sweet Wildflower palette, I was correct. And last but not least, I didn't even wanna do anything with the lips. I just wanted to leave it alone. I actually had put this on at the beginning of the video, but I didn't mention it. It is the Chanel Rouge Coco in the shade Adrienne, shade 402. One of my favorite neutrals. It is just classic, it's perfect. I don't have on a liner. You can change it up if you want to put a liner on with it. It'll change the whole tone, but mm, mm, mm. let me show you the uh, lipstick. <laughs> and there she is, Adrienne. So gorgeous, just a beautiful shade. Let me do that so I don't break it because that's the type of stuff that happens to me. All right, you guys, overall, love the palette that I created. And you know, the, the whole thing about it is I love the interpretation of the themes. So I get so excited like when our videos upload, like to see Kelly's video, like I'm so excited and I'm like waiting for the reveal, like what did she pick? Cause we, we just talk about the theme, same with Kendra. We don't talk about anything else. It's just, what, it, what does it mean to you? And I love seeing what, what different things mean. I, I think the other one I really enjoyed was the uh, reflection palette that we did at the end of 2021. Like, what was a reflection of your year? Because everybody's life is different. So those palettes were so different and amazing. And that is like the art of makeup that I enjoy, that I am passionate about. And that is the exciting part like that. And that's the addicting part. That's what makes you so excited, you know, especially when you create something yourself that you love. I can only imagine like how Heather Austin might feel, you know, with her palette, like, just having something that you love out there and and seeing what people think about it and just giving people inspiration and giving people ideas and that's the whole point of the byop series and i hope you guys are really enjoying it because it, it really i know it means a lot to us and i'm just so glad that y'all are here so with that being said and i always forget to do this let me tell you what next month's palette is going to be so the palette for April, we are going to create a palette of shadows we have never used. And it's so sad, but I know I can do it. So um, I have no idea what it's gonna look like, but I'm, oh, I won't even have my Terra Moons by then. They don't ship out till May. But in my eyeshadow collection right now, I have so many singles that I've never used. I had a couple in this video, so I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like I really have to comb through my collection and um, and start separating those out. It's not gonna be that hard, it's sad, but true. But this is how we make use of our collection. This is how 
we hold ourselves accountable for the, the things that we've bought and, and put it to use. You know what I mean? Because all of these things were things that we wanted at, at some point or another. And I love to go back and revisit why I wanted them. And I think that's the point. I don't mind having a big collection, but as I said in my other video, I do not want a big collection full of junk, full of filth, muck, and putrescence. We don't want that here. We are not trying to have that here. So with that being said, I'm out of here. I'm going to work. I could be here all day just laughing and quoting movies and, and everything else I'm doing in these videos. So thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me. Please make sure you check out the other collaborators. I am going to have everybody linked in the description box. Maybe not right away, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to this time. <laughs> so I hope this was therapy for you because it always is for me. So until I see you again, make sure you are being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I'm going to see y'all really soon. Bye. Oh,